Well, hey, it's Dr. Simeon Hein here, and I want to talk a little bit to you about the process by which we can connect our awareness and our consciousness to non-local people, places, and events, and so forth. It's a process that, that I call virtual viewing, and I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how the virtual viewing process works, what it's all about. So what I wanted to do for you right now is just to break it down step by step into the processes by which it's uh, able to work. Now, when you actually connect with a non-local uh, event, person, or place, and you get the information coming from over there over to where you are over here, you know, it can seem like a magical process. And because you can't see how it's happening, um, sometimes it's hard to get a grasp on what actually you need to do to actually make that type of contact. So I want to break it down for you into five easy pretty simple steps so that you can do viewing too. And I'm going to show you it's not really all that hard. So the first step that you need to do when we do viewing is what we call uh, the cool down process. And let me just show you here on the whiteboard what the cool down process is all about. Now look at that. Just like magic, the board is seemingly erased. So it's the magic of the video age. In any case, let's take a look at what we need to do to do a cool down process. Now, the cool down process is before you start a virtual viewing session, you want to be able to quiet your mind down so that you can perceive these very subtle signals that come through us through the quantum space time matrix from the Akashic Records, whatever you want to think about it as. The signals are very subtle and they're very quiet and very fleeting, so you need to be able to perceive them when they come across your awareness. So to illustrate it here on the board, it's like what we want to do is increase the signal strength and decrease the amount of noise in our awareness. Noise, there we go. So basically the signal is there we want it to get stronger and we want the mental noise the so-called chatter in our mind the so-called monkey mind you know that part of our minds that are always talking with internal dialogue and uh, creating a lot of chaos in there of the disturbing kind so that we can't hear and perceive the subtle signals you know you could think of it as an internal judge or some sort of internal sort of uh, chatter that basically keeps you from perceiving the much more subtle signals that come in through the virtual viewing process. So we want to lower that noise level down so we can hear the signal because the signal is coming across to us and if the noise level is higher than the level of the signal and this is the noise we won't be able to perceive that signal because it's too quiet. So we want to get that noise level down. We want to turn the volume down on the noise so we can hear the signal. It's really that straightforward. So there's a number of ways you can actually do this. Um, some people like to do uh, meditation uh, on a regular basis, something I recommend. You could uh, practice any sort of mind-body exercise, uh, things like uh, Tai Chi or yoga or any sort of exercise that works for you. You want to be able to get into what we call the zone. You know, you want to get into that place of uninterrupted awareness so that the etheric uh, signals that come across through the space-time matrix, by contrast to the noise, appear to be louder, stronger, so you can pick them up and write them down. Now, what we do in virtual viewing is we do a little mini cool-down where when we start our session, and we have our piece of paper, what we'll do is write down all of the little distractions that are in our minds to begin with. You know, we can call this a process of objectification, whatever you'd like to call it, where we actually take any distractions that we have in our awareness at the start of the session and we write them down. And that is one way to do kind of a mini cool down, is basically to uh, bring out and objectify any distractions you have before you start your session. So the cool down process is really pretty straightforward and you can do it in your own way before you start your session. Sometimes it's good to do a little slow breathing to imagine you're exhaling attention, exhaling the stress and so forth. Uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of different techniques in uh, 
Taoism for releasing stress and tension where you kind of imagine the uh, tension and stress kind of exhaling it as you breathe and that's one way that can be useful too to kind of uh, reduce the amount of tension when you start the session and lower the noise level in your mind and your body. Now one of the things here that's very important to remember is it's not just your mind that you need to calm down. You actually need to kind of calm down the whole system because when we do the viewing process the signal doesn't just come across through your mind. It comes across through your body too or as some people call it the body mind. It comes through the whole system here. So if the whole system has attained a sort of coherency and a sort of quietude about it then we'll be able to perceive the signal much more easily. We'll be able to write it down and we'll have a much more accurate session uh, when we're done at the end of each uh, viewing project. So that's the basics of the cool down. It's something we incorporate you know, in every session and you, know, you can try it in different ways through different practices in your daily life. It's something that it's a good idea to do before we start each viewing session. So I hope that kind of clears it up um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.